Parch conveys an urgency that I feel is at the core of this project. You know, when you combine the arts and sciences, the art is able to tap into those emotions. And I think it's those emotional uh, triggers, if you will, that really ask the viewer to look more deeply and to think about what their, what their own response is. Water should be more expensive, especially for those industries that use it most heavily. Agriculture is the number one user of water in the state of Arizona because it's so cheap and our, and our laws are so, are so loose, so um, there's no incentive to be conservative with it. That water is fossil water. It was added to those basins at the end of the last ice age. You pump it out and it's not replaced. Right, that there's people in our country that don't have access to safe drinking water, and yet there's other municipalities that they can afford to have the best technology to clean water to use on golf courses and for recreation. We don't have a future without water, so that means no, we're not going to go along. And you know, I don't mind being confrontational and agitational and provocative on that level. We have been looking more at uranium as more of a chemical toxicant that could potentially do damage to our DNA, that could cause mutations and move into cancer. We grew Phoenix into what it is at our expense, and that's being parched. There would be no life without water. Everything depends on water. And what is it to treat it with more respect and more, um, more care? So it's a challenge, it is a conflict, and I think we're gonna to continue to be parched until we actually have that real, real talk.